to you again. Uh, today I have a lot to talk about. So today we're going to talk about... <laughs> essays. Have you all written essays before? It's very important to know how to properly write an essay. Um, also for entrance examinations, they might ask to write for you to write an essay too. So who could tell me what the first paragraph in an essay is called? Introduction. Introduction. Good. Oh my gosh. So I'm sitting here marking uh, my students' papers and watching a movie. And I just came across this paper and I want to read it to you. It says, Today a foreign teacher came to my class. Her name is Linda and her attractive appearance and pure English appealed to me. Since then I've been desired to be a teacher like Linda. I'm a student now. Whenever I walk past my teacher's window, I always find that the light is on at night. Since then, I have been deeply moved by the great job. In my mind, teacher is full of knowledge. She is kind and patient. She always teaches all she knows to the students selflessly. In life, she is also the student's good friend. She plays with them happily and offers them help when the students are in trouble. She can also be the good parent. She can also be the good parent. Once I got a fever in class and my teacher took me to the hospital quickly without my teacher's oh, took me to the hospital quickly. Without my teacher's help, I couldn't have gone through the rough time. As far as I'm concerned, teachers are always kind and helpful to their students. So I want to be a teacher and help more people who desire to have knowledge in the future. I thought that was so cute and I feel so bad like marking her grammar mistakes and punctuation mistakes and obviously her teacher her normal teacher like not me um, cares a lot about her and the other students and it's just remarkable how different the edu education system is over here um, it is stricter but it's different in the sense that teachers are allowed to be more personal with their students whereas in Canada you couldn't it's not appropriate for you to be that personal with your students so that's something I have really enjoyed over here just seeing the fact that teachers and students can be friends outside of school and they can also be like a part of the family so I just wanted to share that Today I went to McDonald's and I actually picked up a taro pie, um, but after eating a Big Mac meal, I was too full to try this when I was at McDonald's, so I just brought it home. But it's been a few hours later and I'm hungry, so I wanted to try it on camera for the first time. So obviously it's not warm anymore, but I still think it'll taste good. So it looks like a normal pie. And it smells like a normal pie too. Let's try. It's really good. It's really sweet. It's like still like moist on the inside. Um it's really juicy and there's even like chunks of taro in it. So I don't know if you can see. And they don't let you buy them 
like one at a time. You have to buy them two per order. So they came to nine yen for two, which is about almost two dollars Canadian for two of them. So I would say they're about the same price as Canadian McDonald's pies. I haven't bought the Canadian ones in a while, so I don't know if they're still priced at two dollars for two, but they used to be. But anyways, this is really good. Look at that terrible goodness. So I felt like making some tea, and I got this the other day for, I want to say like a dollar fifty, and I love milk tea, so I had to get it, and it's taro flavored. I just opened it for the first time, and all of this was in it. So this is the powder for the milk tea. I'm guessing this is sugar, and if I knew that there was like a pack of creamer or milk in here, I would have put this whole package in the fridge, but I didn't, and it's been days, so I'm going to throw that up, and yeah, so I'm going to make some tea, and I'm watching Crazy Stupid Love and Marking Essays. Awesome Friday night. really nice out today but the weather forecast said it's supposed to rain like all day today so Brittany and I didn't really make any plans and instead I'm spending the day marking papers and I wanted to show you this sandwich I got from the bakery it's interesting because it kind of has like a skewer of meat that's like wrapped around it looks like a grilled cheese, but I think it's more like a croissant bread. But I just had like a piece of the meat from this end, and it was spicy. I can't handle spicy, but I'm still going to enjoy this. And yeah, just wanted to show you this interesting sandwich. Mm -hmm. 